Today we got the C-Class in the shop. We are blacking out the side mirrors and we will be using Dip Your Car's Hyper Dip Piano Black. Hey, what's going on everybody? You have a lot with you as always. Today we got my 2009 Mercedes C-Class W204 in the shop and we're gonna be blacking out the side mirrors. The reason I'm blacking out the side mirrors is because I already blacked out all the chrome on the car, including the rims, and I feel like the side mirrors stick out. They stand out too much since, you know, all the windows are tinted, the chrome is blacked out here, the plastics are all black, and then you got the silver mirror. I think it would look pretty good if we blacked this side mirror out. Um, I was gonna use vinyl wrap for this, but to be honest, I'm not too experienced with the curve that goes inside here on the mirror. And then there's a little dip here on the mirror as well, so we'd have to tuck the vinyl in. I don't think I'd be able to do it with vinyl wrap, so our alternative is Plasti Dip, which is actually not Plasti Dip, it's Hyper Dip from Dip Your Car. This is Piano Black, it is gloss straight from the can. So a quick little video guys, just to show you guys how easy it is to black out little things on your car like the side mirrors, grills, emblems, things like that. I'm gonna be showing you guys on this side mirror here. So I'm gonna grab some tape and drape, we're gonna tape around this, we're gonna leave a little gap and that way, since this is removable, it will peel off all the excess Plasti Dip or Hyper Dip, I guess. Um, it'll cut itself off along all the edges. I'll show you guys how that works, but if you guys know Plasti Dip, it's been around for a long time, you know how it works. Uh, for those of you that are new, perfect. This will be a great learning video for you guys. Two things you're gonna need, obviously some tape. I have some 3M yellow tape, I love this stuff. Uh, it's really got really good grip and it leaves no residue when uh, peeling the tape off so you won't see any um, any of the tape stick on the body of the car. And then we got some tape and drape here. So it's just tape that has a plastic sheet on it. So it's very easy to mask up big areas um, in, in little time. We're gonna start off by cleaning it. Got my rubbing alcohol here and a microfiber cloth. So just spray some in my microfiber cloth and then just wipe the mirror down. Make sure to get the mirror and all surrounding areas just to make sure that tape sticks down. If your mirrors do fold in, fold them in and kind of get the bottom edge there where it is a bit hard to reach. And now we're going to go in and start taping. So I'll grab my tape and drape and I'll start off the bottom here. So we're not taping right up to the black plastic. Like I said, we're gonna leave a space and then that hyper dip will be easily released once dried up. You guys are wondering where you could get this tape and drape. I got this from Amazon. I think I got like, I think it was like a six pack for like 20 some dollars Canadian. So really good price. So this is how it should look. So again, we're not taping right up to that black plastic. We're leaving a little edge all the way down there and all that's going to get peeled off after since there is a gap between the black plastic and the actual painted side mirror it'll end up cutting itself off along the edges there so if for some reason it doesn't cut off and it does get attached um, you could grab a knife and heat the blade and then sl slowly, slightly just cut it where it's attached. We got the light taped up and that's how it looks. Now we're going to warm up our can of Hyper Dip and we're going to start off with four light coats and then we're going to do four solid wet coats but not heavy enough where it's going to drip. Here's the other side. I'm going to do my first coat so it should be very light. So this is how it should look. Very light, very subtle. Don't go too heavy. We're gonna let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll do another coat. 
Here's coat number two. Here's coat number three. Here's coat number four. This is gonna be our last light coat, even though we pretty much got full coverage on the side mirror, we're still gonna do one light coat and then we're gonna do uh, start doing our heavier coats. This is coat number five. This is gonna be our first solid coat. This is coat number six. Here's coat number seven. This is gonna be our last coat. This is coat number eight. All right guys, the mirrors are complete, they're dry. So I'm gonna unmask uh, all the tape and drape and then we're gonna peel off the excess plastic dip or I should say hyper dip and hope for the best. And now we have completed the gloss black side mirrors. Straight from the can guys, it is nice and glossy. And the good part of it too is it is removable as well. So if I don't like it, I wanna change the look down, down the road, then hey, I'll peel it off, go back to silver, or you know, do whatever I wanna do. But I like it, it now clashes with the black window tint, the black uh, window trim that's done. Just the black accents all around the car. Maybe I gotta do the door handles next. You guys let me know. I don't know, but tell me what you guys think of this. Let me get you guys a front view here. I think it looks pretty damn good. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like these blacked outside mirrors better than the silver. 
goes with everything else. All the black accents are done. On top of the side mirrors, I'm also doing, we got the shift knob out here. And I got it all taped up. This is also a hyper dip as well. So now everything else in the car will be black. So you guys how it looks. I did these. Over here, I did this, I did that. Go inside the car here. So we're working on this part here. Uh, we blacked out this part here where the heater controls are. So it's, it's coming along pretty nicely. Here's uh, the other interior pieces I wrapped. This is actually vinyl wrap. So it's nice to use a mix of the hyper dip and then vinyl wrap. You could achieve. You could pretty much wrap anything you want. If it can't be vinyl wrapped, hey, you gotta spray it. If it can't be sprayed, you could vinyl wrap it. So, you know, it, they both work wonders together. Vinyl wrap, plastic dip, hyper dip, any type of spray coating, it helps achieve whatever you want to do on the vehicle. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you do have small accent pieces or side mirrors or the grill or emblems or any small little accent on your vehicle that you want to black out and you want gloss straight out of the can and also want it to be removable hyper dip is the choice to go hyper dip also makes a matte version and a metallic version so you guys can go check out all the products it's on dipyourcar.com i'm sure most of you guys know dip your car they've been around for a while and they've been uh, providing uh, great products for for many years so Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. If you have any questions, also comment down below. I'll be happy to help. I am gonna go get those interior pieces in my vehicle and the blackout will pretty much be complete. I got all the accents blacked out on the exterior and on the interior but like i said i still might do the door handles i don't know yet anyways guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out